Yeah, g'day. Lance Dean. Amateur radio call sign ZL3LAD. And we're here tonight um, just to give you a brief idea, a brief look at a single valve amplifier using a PCL82, um, which is the uh, slightly higher heater voltage version of an ECL82. Um, I'm using this valve um, actually because it's got the higher heater voltage and I'll pair it from a 16 volt plug pack, a nice cheap 16 volt plug pack. So let's give you a bit of a better look at everything there. And I'll just uh, pull out. Oops, sorry, a bit of a shake going on. I'm just trying to um, trying to keep everything in uh, focus as well, which is um, a bit of a battle, isn't it? Um, anyway, this plug back over the back here is uh, doing the bizzo. It's pairing it all up. It's a 16 volt, one and a half amp plug pack, and this is available from the warehouse or the market, and it's about well 25 New Zealand dollars at the moment. So the price can fluctuate up and down. Um, it's best to watch it, and uh, I wouldn't be paying any more than $25 per unit for them. I did buy uh, 10 or so a while ago when they were um, on a on a good price. Um, a very good value for money, and they're a three-wire, so um, you've got an earth as well. Earth connection is very handy, um, especially for radio products that I, I wanted to use it for. So um, over on the yellow um, case multimeter at the back, I was measuring the HT, or high tension supply, which comes from this um, toroid here. So the plug pack feeds the toroid into the um, two low voltage uh, winds it's got, which is actually, uh, well, some of these ones here. So it's feeding those low voltage winds. It's a 15, zero, 15 volt toroid, and um, these two winds are touching before actually the original 230 volt primary, but now there are being used as a secondary to supply through this um, bridge rectifier here. Um, they're going to supply us some high tension to um, high tension or B plus to run the uh, anodes of the triode and the pentode contained in that one envelope there. And I've um, just knocked everything up with uh, chocolate block connectors. Okay, it's very crude, I'll give you that, but the circuit is uh, so good it does work. Even despite my um, uh, lashing up hastily, and the circuits available on the cool386.com website, run by a top fella, John Hunter from Australia, uh, Sydney, Australia. He lives there, um, and he's uh, fantastic. He's got lots of amazing projects on there, especially if you're into radio and that, which I am, which is a, a flavour of things I like, a bit of radio. Okay, well, uh, as we look at the um, as we look at the multimeter on the back to see there's some residual voltage showing, I'll plug the plug pack in there if I can get in the right hole. And oh, what do we have? Oh, goody. And uh, the high tension shot up from residual voltage to 184.4. And we can just see the PCL82 is starting to warm up as it starts to warm up in the uh, foreground. The high tension is dropping at the back as current is drawn through the valves. Or valve, sorry, but uh, the two sections. And uh, it's fallen down to, well, 118 volts there. Just over 118 volts, which is the uh, normal range for it. And I'll just go to the speaker. And there's very little hum, residual hum. And I'm using a um, an old phone, old Android phone, as a signal source here. Uh, so I'll play some obscure music. You'll love that. If I get it to play, okay. Points for idiocy and not being able to do a simple task. I'll raise the levels up a bit there. Under the 
but it's a comfortable level uh, for me to listen to it. But it does go higher. That's as high as we go there. That's the, the highest level, which is just starting to irritate my ears. Still uh, not too bad. I'll bring it back down. Seek fortune in the transformer I'm using there uh, from RS components and you can see the uh, N35A002F is the part code on that one. Very good little transformers they are. Uh, not cheap but they do the job very well. I thought it was wise to try it first with a decent transformer. HT at the back is 117 volts, so it's holding relatively steady. And um, yeah, it's all being powered just off the off the spike back here. There's no other power coming in anywhere else. And um, so this is the bridge rectifier that I'm using to drive the HT through. Uh, those two resistors there uh, for the heater and the bulk of the components is on this um, chocolate block section over here with the valve holder and there's negative feedback uh, on the circuit so I'll leave a link to the circuit on the um, description there for you and um, I really appreciate the time you've taken to uh, watch this uh, little example I've given here. And I hope next time I've uh, bashed a chassis up of some description and uh, managed to mount two valves and uh, have a stereo amplifier. That's the goal. Stereo amplifier off uh, one plug pack. And it looks like it just might be able to, uh, be able to happen actually. Thanks very much.